Hi everyone. So today we're going to talk a little bit more about databases. And this is going to be part two of our series on using databases with Python. Um, it's not a very long continuation, but <clears throat> we're going to talk about a pretty crucial concept called relationships. So let's kind of look at what relationships are. Um, relationships are <clears throat> basically when one table is related to or connected to another table. So for example, right here, we have a doctor and a doctor table and a patient table. And these have logical connections. Um, generally, if you think about this in the real world, you'd have one doctor and you'd have many patients. Hence, what we're going to show today is a one-to-many relationship. Um, there are different types of relationships between tables, but this is probably the most common one, which is why I wanted to go over it today. It's also one which I'll be demonstrating in an upcoming, in an upcoming video that involves making some web applications with Flask. So right here, um, we've got a doctor with ID, name, phone number, and type. Um, the doctor, well, each doctor record has a unique ID number. So one, two, three, or four. Then we've got a patient table that, that also has unique ID numbers, a name, email address, phone number, problem, but then there's a column called doctor ID. And what is special about this column right here is that anything in this column must match up to an ID that's listed right here. So it needs to be one, two, three, or four. And what this does, and what we're going to demonstrate today, um, is that the, these doctor IDs are a connection between this table and this table. So for example, right here, we've got name, uh, Jack. Jack has a problem with his skin. He's got a skin burn. So his doctor ID is one, which means that his doctor is John, who's a dermatolo dermatologist. Uh, similarly, Natasha has mouth cancer. Um, her doctor is an oncologist, doctor ID three, which is Sarah right here. So in this particular column, everything is connected to a particular ID in um, this column in the doctor table. And that's the, that's the relationship that we're going to demonstrate in terms of code today. So we're going to look at, well, let's go ahead to REPL IT and see how we can do this. Um, so basically right here, we've got the code we would use to make that happen. We've got the code for the table doctor and then the code for ta the table patient. And this should be pretty familiar to you if you watch the, the, um, the first part of the series. So the previous video on Python and databases. Um, right here, we've got create table. We have kind of a new command, if not exists. So basically, if the table doesn't exist, then create it. If not, do nothing. And then the name of the table, doctor. This stuff is pretty much the same. But right here, we have a column called ID of data type integer. And we've basically, we've, um, um, basically used the keyword primary key here. And what that means is that this column is going to be a primary key. So a primary key is a column in a database that has a unique value for each and every record. So for example, if we go back to our table right here, this is a primary key because every value of ID will be different. Um, it'll be unique. And the reason we have primary keys is to identify different records, okay? So for example, we could go to the ID one and we can get John, or we can go to the ID four and we can get Kathy. So primary key is a, is a column with unique values that can be used to identify individual records in a database. And that's what primary key does for us here. In reality, um, in SQLite, for every table and every record in every table, um, we also get something called a row ID. And if you've seen the last video, then you know what that is. That's basically the same thing as this. Except the problem is we can't work with that as easily as if you created a column called ID, which is why you've done that here. Um, so the next uh, piece of code we have, so that was for the doctor table. The next one we have is for the patient table. And again, we see this, we see this again right here. Um, and everything's pretty much the same until we get to doctor ID. So doctor ID has the same data type as our ID right here. Um, and this is the column that's going to be associated with the doctor table. 
So as a result, the next line of code we have, the next SQL we have is foreign key doctor ID. By foreign key, that means that this is, um, this is a column that is connected to a foreign table, to a different table. References doctor ID. And this means that doctor ID is going to reference the column ID in the table doctor right up here. Okay. And that's how we're going to make the connection uh, between both of these tables using this particular line here, connecting a column in this table to a column or to a column in this table. Um, and I've gone ahead and actually just created the database right here. Uh, I ran the code and it pretty much did what we wanted it to do. The only thing that we need to do now is, well, actually, you know what? Let's just delete it and start over. Delete, delete this. Let's run the code. Um, and Python, insert, Python create. And that did what we wanted to do, it created hospital.db. And we've got some indication that it worked. Um, now what we're going to do is we're going to insert some values. Um, so again, this is kind of where things, I mean, things are pretty much the same with just one difference. Um, right here, we're inserting two values for doctors, insert into doctor, doctor called John and Albert, which basically corresponds to our information right over here, John and Albert. And then we've also got um, some patients. And here, again, we're doing things as normal, except for in the doctor ID column, we're making sure to include a the ID of their particular doctor. Um, and again, we could do this without um, this foreign key association. But the thing is, the foreign key association, um, that formalizes the relationship, and it makes sure that whenever someone inserts a record into this table, it has a corresponding ID from this table. So it just, it just prevents the doctor ID table from referencing a doctor that doesn't exist in this table. So for example, if we it tried to add a record to the patient table and we had a doctor ID of five, then it would give us an error because that doesn't exist in this table. So going back, um, right here, we're specifying which doctor they'll be associated with. Let's go ahead and do that. Um, looks like that worked. And now just to show um, what we can do with this, we're going to run some more code right here, a simple select statement. Um, one thing I do want to point out is that um, right here I added the pragma foreign keys equals on. Um, I did this because uh, SQL foreign keys are generally not supported in SQLite by default. Um, we need to activate them specifically when we're going to make use of them. When we're creating a table, we don't need to make we don't need to activate foreign keys. We can create a table just fine. We can create tables just fine without foreign keys activated. Whenever we start doing anything with them, like inserting values that correspond to foreign keys or making queries involving foreign keys, we need to make sure those are activated. So we've done that. And here we're going to select name and email address for, okay, we'll need to fix that for name and email address. Um, name, email address, and doctor ID. I guess that was capitalized. It looked kind of weird to me. We can still do that. Capitalization is not an issue in SQLite. Um, from the patient table where the doctor ID equals two. So right here, the doctor ID two corresponds to Albert. So we want to print out any of Albert's patients. So let's go ahead and do that. Um, okay, so let's do Python, retrieve, and then let's go ahead and try that. Let's say we've got an error. It says that the disk image is malformed. So let's go ahead and delete that. Let's try to recreate it. Again, this is a common error. You could get this. So it's always good to go through and, <clears throat> and try to resolve these um, in a video. So let's create the disk image again. Let's say Python um, create, let's do that. And then let's do Python. And then we did insert. And okay, now let's try to do our query again. Retrieve. Okay, cool. So what we got right here is we got both patients in our table who have the doctor Albert. So we have a doctor with the doctor ID two. Um, again, just to backtrack right here, we inserted Ivan and we inserted uh, Jason and these both had the doctor ID two, okay? 
So this is a really quick um, example of how you guys can associate different tables with each other, and you can associate values in different tables. This gets especially important when you're creating more um, complex, but also more useful programs. Like for example, a program in a hospital where you want to keep track of different patients. Um, this doctor patient use case is a perfect example of when we'd want to use this. And this is something that will come up in my upcoming series on creating a vaccine passport system using uh, the Flask web framework. So anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I hope you found it useful. Have a nice day.